have this QR code. You can scan it with your phone to get the map up for you. We are here in the Welcome Center now, right in this building. And in here we have the gift shop. We have our coffee shop back through those doors serving Starbucks coffee. And then upstairs is our history gallery. Aloha, Social Media Lights. Mr. Nooks and Crannies here. Today we are at Bonnet Springs Park in Lakeland, Florida, built on the old rail yards here in Lakeland, and now repurposed for a park. Get around, see what we can see, and maybe learn a few things along the way. Join us, won't you? the history of the park side. Longtime Lakeland real estate broker David Bunch observed the land's decline and foresaw its inevitable rebirth. The development company spent a year removing a century's worth of railroad tracks and old rail yard equipment from the property. Before the railroad property could be repurposed as a recreation area, the property had to be restored to its natural state. Over the years, the deteriorated rail yard and surrounding woods had become a tent in a cardboard city, box city, excuse me, for many persons, many arriving via boxcars from the cold northern climate. So that's, that's hobos. They talk about hobos. Under the tree here and got all kinds of cool photos of what used to be here at Bonnet Springs Park. Going all the way around the tree. See what's good. Oh, even spinny things. Again, this whole place used to be the old rail yard here in Lakeland. Now it's been repurposed as a public park. And it's looking pretty, looking pretty indeed. All right, we've got this interactive model of the Bonnet Springs Park here. And uh, if you hit the different buttons that illuminate the different layers of the park, top layer, is what the park looks like today and then the middle layer is what was here during the rail yard days and 2022 bonnet springs park creates a place to escape engage 
and explore on the site of the abandoned rail yard. Very cool.